Hi, it's 21 times again from PokedexCentral.com. Um, I'm going to have a deck for you here tonight. I, my my obsession with this Sableye Greninja Zoroark build continues. <laughs> um, but uh, first, I just wanted to point out, um, I came across a really great article this morning. Um, and it actually talks about how it's from, it's by, um, I get it here, this uh, Serial Vasquez. And it talks about how a Pokemon card is made. And it talks about, you know, the design of it partially, but it also talks about all the testing that they do. And it, it really gives you a really cool look into how they actually design a card and test it and so it's pretty cool. I mean, it's really, it, they, so here is your proof that they actually play the game with these new cards before, before, it, uh, before they release it. So, um, one of the key things they pointed out was they actually have experienced players play against players who have no idea, who have never played the game and who are very inexperienced. Um, to see if the game is actually still somewhat balanced. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, but definitely, um, you know, I've got a link to it. I got a link to it on my site here. Uh, definitely on Pokedex Central. Definitely uh, check out this article. It's definitely worth your reading. It'll take you five minutes. It's not that long to read. It's a short read. Um, it's, but it's really, really good. Um, and... Like I said, you know, my, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> don't know why I'm so fixated on this deck, on this archetype. Um, I tried it when it first came out. I didn't try it with Sableye. I tried the, the Greninja um, Zoroark when it first came out, but it was just, you know, it had, um, I just, uh, it just, I couldn't get it to work. And um, so try it again. It's, you know, I don't know. It, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's yeah, it is very ephemeral. Um, it's like trying to trying to hold water in your hands, you know. So, but there's the list for darkness energy, um, and we're gonna give it a shot. So, neither of us have the advantage. I won the coin flip. Um, I am going to go first, though. All the same. Because he gets to play a supporter either way. So, um, do I want to start with Greninja or with Zoroark? Let's start with Zoroark. So this isn't terrible. I can use Apricorn Maker if I want. Or I can take my chances with Cindy. Um, do I want to put down the Coco? Coco serves a really good role in that you can, after something gets knocked out, you can promote it. Um, hmm. Let's put down Coco. We'll put down Sableye. I have a Greninja GX in hand. Ooh. Looks like I have two... No, I only have two Cindy's in this deck. That's right, I use Mallow a lot. Uh, Mallow is prized. Um, one DC prized. One Dark Energy prized. Okay, so interesting. Hmm. 
Well, he resists dark anyway, so I'm going to two-shot him anyway. I guess we're going to go with Zorwark. So I'm definitely trading away the Acerola. Definitely putting down the other Froki. Mm. Oh, great. I'll go for two Fargadiers. Man, if he doesn't, ah, oh, if he doesn't hit that, um, E hammer, I win the game right there. <laughs> so we'll leave a space open for potentially another Zoroar, Zorua. So that's another problem I'm finding with this deck is that I have um, that Coco and Sable, I end up taking a valuable bench space that I would much rather have as being a, um, a Froki and a Zerua. So I lose my window because he will undoubtedly put out some type of Cocos or whatever else he's working on. Maybe it's Darkness, maybe it's a Tyranitar build. Nope, Weavile. Yeah. So I'm probably going to get annihilated in this game. And Garbodor and Honchkrow. He just can't make up his mind. He's got all the hits. So we'll see what happens. All right, yep, that's why I was leaving it open. All right, so 120, 140, minus 20 is, yeah, so I'll definitely um, KO him. Yeah, we'll put it on. Uh, just there's nothing here that great. And righteous beating. Fortunately, I run the card that annihilates spread decks. I run four Acerola. I'd like to try to work in some super scoop ups too. But... Oh, copycat for the big three. That means he's pretty desperate. Oh, still no energy. Sorry, buddy. Um, so let's play this one down. And um, I am going to Mallow for a Greninja and a DCE, or maybe just a, well, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take my chances. DCE. Hopefully it doesn't run like four ants hammers. 
upgrade. It's just I one shot all of those guys, so it's just any mini money. Oh shoot, he's uh, KOing me here, isn't he? And I have no way to attack back. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't really care. I knew I was losing this game anyway. This just isn't isn't a game I'm gonna win. Oh, it's the other one. Okay, good. So, Apricorn Maker, I do not need at this point. So I can trade the nest ball. And then trade the Apricorn Maker. That's not good. I did not get any That is less than desirable. So let's, um, I'm going to pick up this one. Just beating. So fortunately, my opponent kind of dead drew, didn't get energy, he didn't get off an attack earlier. Um, he had to copycat for three. You know, if he would, this deck would have flown a little bit better if it would have flowed a little bit better. Um, certainly, he would have been in better shape. Um, as it is right now, he's probably going to get his DC and he'll probably KO me. But that's fine because I KO him on the way back. And um, I'm probably going to get... Looks like I might even get... Um, oh, and he whiffed, whiffed again. Another ace roll. Uh, oops, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's make sure I trade first. Okay, first. Yeah. There we go. And, um, yep. Another ace roll. Uh, oops, let's make sure I Put down the dark energy again. Um, gonna trade away Sableye. Okay. Um, so when you're running a spread deck like this, you want to run two energy lotto um, because that'll help you just help you grab an energy, any energy. Also helps thin the deck. Um, it also helps you 
potentially grab an energy that you want to grab. Um, so I just definitely recommend energy lotto in a spread deck like this, even two of them. Um, I found that I found that out when I was uh, going to um, Collinsville. Um, I found that when I was running um, Glissopod Garbodor that I was sometimes having trouble getting the DCE. And I found that at first I had four energy lotto. That was just too much. That was just overkill. Um, and I found, you know, in my testing that I was only playing like one and a half. So I cut out two and it was just, it was great. You know, it's great for uh, just being able to, um, just being able to uh, make sure that you can get your energy when you need it. Great. Um, definitely want to put down that to make sure I get the KO. And then the ace roll again. Yep. Um, I can trade away um, one of the Greninja's. I will need another basic Pokemon, which I got plenty of, so. <laughs> so, even if he KOs me here, um, I will get a KO on him, even if I just flying flip. I KO him, so I don't even know how many items I have, plus I resist Psychic, so uh, well played, thank you sir, you did, you did alright, sorry you, uh, you went a little bit slow to start with, but, yep, and then just righteous beating is all I need, alright, so, yeah, I thought I was gonna lose that one. Um, I think his key was he used the uh, spread. The ace roll was key for me, obviously, but he used also the spread Weavile when he should have used um, the other Weavile. All right. Um, I'll pause for a second while I'm recording my information for that game. 